Operation Rao Sim C. Saro, or Sago Roofing, has been Richard Mosser Rare's largest project to date that he has ever undertaken in his electorate of E.G. Vitari. This project has been run alongside his so-called Rural Electrification Project. So what are these projects and what do they translate to in terms of social and economic impact to the people of E.G. Vitari? And what are the real costs to the E.G. Vitari people, the social and economic opportunity costs that have been foregone in favor of Operation Rao Sim Sago Roofing and his so-called Rural Electrification Project? So, how has removing Sago Roofing and replacing it with Iron Roofing changed the lives of people? One might argue and say, well they sleep better now under better house roofing, or maybe it will extend their life expectancy. We don't know the impact of this project and how it has impacted people in the district, both socially and economically. Could the member tell us? Or is this just another cargo cult, political gimmick, exploiting simple-minded villagers? The Rural Electrification Project for E.G. Vitari District consists of solar lights that his team have been dispatching around the electorate. So again we ask, what is the impact of this project, socially and economically? Apart from providing light and maybe reducing eye problems associated with bad light, what are the social and economic benefits? Could the member tell us? So let's see, what kind of rural electrification projects are being carried out by other members of parliament and their electorates, compared to Richard Mosser Rare's rural electrification project, and what social and economic impacts that it will have on people's livelihood. First time member of parliament and member for Con Dep Open, Honorable Alfred Monasser, rolled out his district's rural electrification project at the cost of 1.5 million kina. This was to provide a power station in the district that will supply electricity to most parts of the district. Alfred Monasser said, for small to medium enterprises and agriculture to flourish in the district, electricity was needed. Member for South Bougainville District, Honorable Timothy Masiu, launched a rural electrification project at the cost of 100,000 kina for Mama Ramino village in Buin. He said having power in our homes, schools, health centers and in the community is a game changer for all of us. It will boost the local economy as well as the living standard of our people. First time member of parliament and member for Mbongu district, Honorable Pilani Ningi, has launched a total of 1.1 million kina worth of rural electrification projects in his district in the last three years. This will see electricity rolled out to more than 50,000 people in his electorate. Honorable Pilani Ningi said everyone in the district deserves to have electricity, however I can only provide for one area at a time. And will eventually cover the district. He said electricity is important as it boosts the local economy and is conducive for development. So why is Richard Mosser Rare distributing solar lights when all the other members of parliament are rolling out electricity because they believe that electricity will 1. Improve the living standards of their people 2. Encourage and boost small to medium enterprises 3. Improve agriculture techniques and 4. Boost their local district economies Richard Mosser Rare and the E.G. Vitari District DDA have spent 2.9 million kina on solar lights. 2.9 million kina that could have been better spent on upgrading facilities at Tufi Station to boost the fishing sector in Tufi or upgrade the Kakiri Road. But yet we blame other government departments for not providing funding. When the E.G. Vitari District DDA is squandering money on worthless and unsustainable projects, Oro Province will soon be launching its very own hydro-powered plant in Divune. This project was funded by the Asian Development Bank and is set to be completed in the coming months. This hydro power plant will generate 3 megawatts of power that is more than enough to power up Oro Province. So why is Richard Mosser Rare spending so much on solar light bulbs when he could have spent the 2.9 million kina to assist PNG Power, extend the power lines from Popendetta Town to Oro Bay and into nearby villages or LLGs in preparation for Divune Hydro Power rollout. The DDA has committed to spend 5 million kina on Operation Rossum Sago Roofing. According to a statement on Facebook, 
5 million kina was allocated by the DDA in 2017. That 5 million kina could have been better used to upgrade the only technical vocational training institute to develop our human resource or looking at investing in the agriculture sector that would in turn help the rural people generate income so they can be self-reliant. So what is the real cost to the people of EG Vitari district? There are a lot, and here are some of them. Education facilities have deteriorated. In a Facebook post on 9 February 2020, a local from Dumbata village, beside the road to Oro Bay, appealed to the community to donate money so they can buy roofing iron for the elementary school. This was while roofing iron was been dispatched freely by the member to individuals. Aid posts and government buildings have deteriorated. On 9 September 2020, a local from Bereji High School area appealed on Facebook on the awful conditions in the area. That aid posts were run down and PMVs could not service the area due to failing roads. Villagers had to walk miles to access the services. Road infrastructures have deteriorated. According to a Facebook post by Richard Mosser Rare on June 29, 2019, he said, and I quote, the basic necessities such as light and proper roofing iron might be seen by people living in towns and cities as not important or not development, however improving the lives of our people is far more important than building a road or wharf, especially when our people lack the basic needs. So according to Richard Mosser Rare, roads and other infrastructure developments are not important. Well, according to the World Bank, on its development blog, it states that roads are the arteries through which the economy pulses. By linking producers to markets, workers to jobs, students to school, and the sick to hospitals, roads are vital to any development agenda. The District Development Authority, under Richard Mosser Rare, to date, has committed an access of 7.9 million kina on roofing iron and solar lights. This is a lot of money that could have been put to good use on other impact projects. But even when the roofing iron and solar lights are been distributed, not everyone has received it. There have been complaints about lack of coordination, favoritism and misuse of roofing iron and solar lights. People who also receive them have been selling them, and the people coordinating the distribution have been selling them also to make money. We cannot blame the people in rural EG Vitari for believing that this political gimmick is a real development or service. The simple villagers do not understand what real development means and how it can improve their lives both socially and economically. But as well-educated people or individuals of this proud Melanesian country, it is our duty and responsibility to do what is right in terms of developing our districts to meaningfully change the lives of our people for the better. What Richard Mosser Rare is doing is so low, as a well-educated person, we expect him to know better, yet he continues to speak and boast about this projects. When he already knows that this are meaningless and worthless projects. They only serve his political interest by fooling the people of EG Vitari district that roofing iron and solar lights are essential services that all provincial governments must provide. But any well-educated person in this country will know that these are worthless projects and waste of taxpayers' money. It is because of members of parliament like Richard Mosser Rare, who do not have any vision for a better future for their districts and are only in it for self-interest, is what is driving this country backwards. If Dr. Lino Tom, a first-term member of parliament for Wabag Open, can deliver unprecedented infrastructure services to his district like major road links, a general hospital, road bridges, classrooms for schools, aid post clinics, to his district in less than four years, three of which he spent in opposition government, then there is no excuse for every other district MP, including Richard Mosser Rare, to do the same for their districts. In our next video on part 2 of Richard Mosser Rare's cargo cult projects in EG Vitari district, we will take a closer look on the companies that are involved in this projects and the awarding and procurements of these project contracts.